right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Xbox Life episode. What are we on, Mark? 447. New look. I am Brun BJ Swick 33. And with me right now is Mark, also known as Wingman709. Good uh, evening, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, for the people that have been joining in, we do have a new look. Uh, we're we're trying this out. We mentioned it last week. Um, we'll have our first, not only a new look for the very first time, but also the first time that we have to try to bring in a host in the middle of the show, which adds to the complexity. <laughs> uh, because Rob is not here yet, but he should be on his way shortly. So, but uh. Gamescom, we we have Gamescom and and what we've been playing, of course. But um, before we get all to that, uh, we start on Twitch uh, TV slash This Xbox Life every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern, and uh, we go on for about as long as we need. Let's just put it that way. And uh, you can then catch us on uh, your favorite podcast application, whether that be iTunes, Zune Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you know, any place where you, you know, go Google Play, I guess. Um, we try to have that out on Mondays. Uh, the last couple weeks have been like almost Thursday, I think, for the shows to come out. I don't know if it's due to audio problems or or whatnot. Uh, but hopefully, this will solve a lot of that. Uh, the new look and stuff will solve a lot of the issues. So. But um, I'm hoping we sound okay. I didn't have to change any of the audio or anything. Um, but we have moved to OBS and, and things like that. And there's Rob. So let me bring Rob in. All right. Well, while you're bringing him in, <clears throat> I'll just move into what I've been playing okay. to keep the show a rolling. Okay. Um, I have played some Fortnite um, at the beginning of the week. I am in Plankerton, and that's that. That's like there's like four areas in Plankerton. The second one, so uh, I'm in the second one, and then on Monday night at 9 p.m., I was able to play Agents of Mayhem. Um, as that game came out this week, so I started playing that, and. Um, that one is from the people who brought us Saints Row. So it's, um, and you've got like, I think there's a total of 10 agents that you can get. You start with three, then you basically do missions to get others. I've got nine right now. So um, I think the 10th one is going to come in a story mission. Um, it's, when I first started playing it, I really, really dug it. I really liked it. It's very much uh, all the all the agents are very different. You can switch between them um, very easily. And oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I had the Twitch page up, and I was like, why is this over on this screen in the middle? But that's actually you. I'm seeing what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to make a window go away that didn't exist. Um. <laughs> anyway, so I started playing it. You start it with three agents and. You can switch to them on the fly. So, like, if you're playing as one of them and you're getting down on health, you can switch to any one of the other agents, uh, the other two. You always take three with you on every mission. Um, they're pretty neat. They're they're very um, oh excuse me. They're varied and different, and uh, they they all played very differently. So it's interesting because there's one that I didn't think I would like or would really use. And I've got him almost maxed out. He's my favorite character so far. I really like Kingpin. Uh, he's my favorite one. Um, and it's kind of funny, his mayhem ability, which is like a super. So when you create enough mayhem or you've done enough kills, then you can launch your mayhem ability. And this one, his, he like tosses out this big boom box. And all the enemies will stop shooting at you and they start dancing. And then you can kill them while they're dancing. <laughs> but uh, he's got a great... Uh, weapon that I've got like launches these like grenades and it's pretty cool. Um, the but as I've been playing it this week, the issue that I've run into is that it feels like it's 
it, it's very repetitive. Um, like there's a lot of go down into the layers, and then when you go into the, the legions layers, then it's like you're walking through the same like I swear there's only maybe two layers in the whole game, and they mix it up. I make sometimes you go through it a different direction. You're going backwards through it so that it looks different. Um, and, and it's just like those get kind of boring. I'm just like, okay, you go from one room to the next, you kill the enemies, and then it tells you even tells you your mission objective is to enter the next room, you know. And it's just like uh, it, it's just so. I don't know. I don't know if what the whole game is going to end up being like. I'm still playing it. Um, but I really expect it a little bit more. I kind of feel like it's lacking. Like the, the, the story is really good. And the, the animation and the cut scenes are really good. Especially if you're into to like, um, you know, cartoons or animation, stuff like that. Right. It's really good. And, and the, the dialogue is hysterical. Um, even when you're on the arc, which is like your ship, where it's like your main hub, listen to the overhead announcements. They are hysterical. Um, there, there's stuff where they talk about how there's a toilet paper shortage and you're only allowed to use like one square. And <laughs> get get your uh, if you want if you want vacation or you want some time off, you should find some other place to work. Um, you know, everyone get their PTO requests in so they can be denied, uh, you know, on time and stuff like that. I mean, it's just, you know, things that you just like, as you're walking around, all of a sudden you hear this announcement and, and I'm, and I just start cracking up. It's funny. So, but even in the game, the dialogue is funny. It's very, um, reminiscent of some old school games and cartoon Saturdays. And there's, there's a lot of neat stuff there to make it fun, but. At the same time, the gameplay itself, I think, is kind of lacking a little bit. Um, so I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see as I play more into it. But, but that's what I've been playing this week. Cool. Rob, do you want to want to go next? Yeah, sure. Um, I think about it. I, I can't even I remember if I played anything. It's been a crazy week. Went to Gen Con uh, Saturday and today. So... Uh, most of my week was tied up with either work or, or uh, the convention. Um, I remember I was doing, I was doing some stuff on the Xbox. I was checking out some of the, uh, some of the, the sales and stuff. And, you know, sometimes I just do that instead of actually playing, I actually check out the insiders, you know, see what's new, do my quests, get my points, upgrade my games. And then when it comes time to actually playing, I'm like, Oh, I can't make a decision. <laughs> can't make a decision. There's too much stuff. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I mentioned it before. It's just like too many things to play. So the best decision is to make no decision. <laughs> and you go watch TV. Right. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, not a whole lot here. In fact, uh, I even missed your guys's message discussion. I just saw that a little bit ago. I missed out on something, apparently. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, but so yeah, that's about it. For Gamescom me. today, though, right? Or not what? Gamescom. Uh, where were you? Gen, what were you at? Gen, Gen Con. Gen Con. <laughs> yes. See, I was it's like, not... boy, if you were at Gamescom, boy, you made one heck nah. of a All right. really cool. Yeah, Indianapolis is a little bit of a shorter drive than, where is that, Cologne, Germany or something Cologne, like that? Germany, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, Thanks. Yeah. Hey, good timing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for flying back so quick. Yeah, yeah, I drove. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, <laughs> Just yeah. The, the windows. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I was I was talking to a bunch of guys who were from Columbus. They drove out there. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, that would have been like equidistant almost because I think Indianapolis is like halfway in between Columbus and Chicago. Yes, yes, it is. It's like three, three and a half, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what it was for me, except. Yeah. Um, actually, I take that back. It would have been <laughs> if we didn't have the crazy construction on I-65, which we always seem to have. Yeah. That's the perpetually under construction highway that is never apparently finished. Ever. What'd they charge you to go across that bridge, Rob? What bridge? Uh, didn't you take, what is it, 80? Oh, the Skyway? Are you talking about the Skyway? Yeah. Big oh, sky yeah. Brandon Gary. 
Yeah, we, we don't do that just because going, we, I have to go around Chicago just to not spend like another hour and a half in traffic going through Chicago. And this weekend too was part of, uh, it had the Aaron Water Show. Remember that thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's when yeah. I came to visit you guys was during that. Oh, it was the, the week. Yeah, that week, that weekend that we came down, or that time that you know the family and I, well, I guess we came up and spent that time up there with you guys was during the air and water show or oh, whatever because yeah. okay. the uh, the Blue Angels and stuff were practicing and they flew right over yep. top of us and stuff and scared the crap out of me. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> they sneak up on you. Yeah, they do. <laughs> my goodness! You don't hear them approaching, but you like hear them after they've already passed, and all you hear is like. Psh! Yeah, and they were flying because we were right down by the pier. That they, there's that light that's right by the end of the yep. pier that kind of bends around. We were at that light, yeah. and they flew over, and my entire the roof of my car, of course, is metal, and it was vibrating and scared mm -hmm. scared the crap out of me. Holy oh, cow! Yeah. But I think that was on a Friday because I think they practice on Fridays and stuff. It was it was pretty cool to go down. Yeah, I, I saw them uh, on Thursday even is uh sometimes they get there a little early they make a couple of flybys or whatever downtown that must be like when they're flying into the city and then friday is when they do the bulk of their practicing yeah and then saturday and sunday are the shows but the building that i'm in is actually fairly tall so it was kind of neat to see them go by and they were a little underneath <laughs> yeah <laughs> they were uh lower than i was <laughs> in the building but uh yeah, I mean, you can definitely hear them inside, just like uh, you can hear Lollapalooza <laughs> inside the building. Yeah. So, cool. yeah, uh, anyway, that, that was it for me. All right. Um, well, I basically, like, logged into Fortnite. I didn't really play it. Um, played some Frontier Defense and Titanfall 2 again. Played some Battlefield 1 and played a round. I got one round of PUBG in, uh, Soul Assassin. Finally, was getting around to play... Um, play some PUBG and we took fourth. It was, we were the only team left and, and this one guy took us both out and it's just like kind of a bummer. But uh, I was like, so I was like, I'll take, I'll take number four for the first game back. But we were playing some of the uh, first person mode uh, because that's in there now. And I really like it. Um, I don't think people can kind of, they can't cheat those corners and stuff um, like they can in third person. So, but uh, I think that's pretty much everything I played. Um, I didn't really have too much time. Football started up, and I coach, so it takes takes a lot of time. Oh, speaking of football, one thing that was interesting was Gen Con this year expanded into Lucas Oil Stadium. Hmm. So, um, part so the entire what would you call it? The game floor. What do you call it, the, the area that they actually play the football? Sure. Oh, the, the football field? Yeah, I guess the field. Yeah, the, the field. field. <laughs> the, the entire bottom, like, surrounded by all of the um, uh, the bleachers, whatnot, the stands, it all had, like, some of these tiles. You know, they look like the dance floor tiles that, yep. you, that they assemble. So the whole thing was covered. Man, I would not want to be the dude that had to do that. Or the team that had to do that because it looks like you had to lock them all in place. I can't even imagine how long it took. But yeah, the entire floor was covered. You know, probably how they do concerts and stuff like that. And uh, it extended on there. So it had the entire convention center. Um, it spread into some of the surrounding hotels and into Lucas Field. But it was kind of neat to see, uh, you know, to see the stadium from the field. You know, to you know look around and see how the how the players must see it. And then uh, we went to dinner and we saw them playing the Cowboys. <laughs> Not at Lucas, uh, Lucas Oil Field. Oh, gotcha. Cool. So, football, yeah. All right. Well, moving forward, uh, patreon.com slash this Xbox Life or this Xbox Life. You know, we have shortcuts on our, our website for everything. So if you just do this Xbox Life.com slash, you can do Patreon become a patron of the show or you can do slash donate uh to do one-time donations um uh 85 is i we i when i did the new 
view or whatever here, I put the top tipper on there of all time, so Drano holds the spot. Um, but uh, So you can do that. So Patreon or uh, this xboxlife.com slash donate. Which leads us to our topics. So Gamescom. Well, before we get to Gamescom, let's let's talk about something. Yes. <clears throat> yes, uh, let's do. Yeah, so this is the I, last time it shall be mentioned on this show. Yep, until it comes <laughs> out. So the, until, yeah. until it's officially delayed or canceled. Yeah, I'm so with, I'm on board. I'm on board the cancellation train. Woo woo. <laughs> yeah. I just I can't I was I think a lot of people were taken by surprise on this because it's just you gave a date. You know, you never gave a date before, and now you give a date, and now it's delayed. So the thing is, is supposedly, like, the rumor is that the people complaining that it didn't look good at E3 is the reason why they're going back and redoing all the art design. And I'm just like... This is really? for Crackdown 3, by the way. Yeah, Crackdown 3. Sorry, Crackdown 3 has been delayed. And I've heard, I listened to them on Gamescom. They did mention Spring. So, it doesn't matter. This game's been delayed so many times. See, yeah. and, and I'm not, I'm not like, oh, they're just going to cancel it. I, I'm looking at it like they canceled it a couple of, or they, they've delayed it several times. And there's always like some excuse, like why they're going to do it. Now they're like, okay, it's going to release on day and date of Xbox One X, which I think I'm also going to officially just call xbox because if you take the letters xbox yeah. one x it spells xbox right so i'm just gonna call it xbox from now on instead of trying to but it was going to release november 7th with xbox and i was noticing there's like no pre-release like you couldn't pre-order just like you couldn't on the xbox until today and i'm like well maybe they're gonna pack it in maybe maybe this is gonna be one of the surprises which I, I still think their surprises were a joke, um, but I, I don't know what I don't think their big special thing they were talking about that they're going to have was anything big. But we'll go into that a little later. But you know the thing is is uh, Fable uh, was it Fable Legends? The game was like weeks away from release. It was done, and they scrapped it. I mean, they completely canceled the whole game after years. And, and, and who knows how much money went into it. Um, Scalebound, same thing, real close to release. They just out, outright canceled it. This one has been delayed, been delayed, been delayed, now delayed again. I kind of feel this one's going to end up on the cutting block. You know, I really do. This one seems, uh, they've had so much hype for it lately. They've been talking about it. You know, they got Terry Crews coming out with xbox x and all this stuff and now it's like yeah we're gonna push it back another six nine months you know it's like really <laughs> yeah, if, it, if it was a couple weeks or even you know a month this thing like it would it, it needs more polish that's that's one delay i could accept you know but when it's like oh it's 2018 and then they didn't say anything in 2018 until today i heard them talking about like you know, spring of 2018. Just when I heard 2018, I was like, all right, it's not coming out. Forget it. It's done. You know, it's just like there's no reason to be hyped about it, to even think about it. If it comes out, it comes out. But once you've, you know, we've already had this experience like a dozen times. Once it gets right. delayed, 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 it's like when it comes out, it's just a massive disappointment. So it's just like, why even can, why even worry about it at this point in time? So, and it was a huge, uh, I was talking to, um, um, oh man, I'm just drawing a blank here, uh, Lethal Migraine, you know, like everybody in our show, like in our chat, like everybody knows Lethal's, uh, opinions on, um, like Phil Spencer and stuff like that. Like he does not like Phil Spencer. He says he wished Phil Spencer would just, uh, re uh, resign and get out of there cause he's doing nothing and, and, and stuff like that. Now, of course, that's his opinion. I don't agree with, but I can say that this right here, in my opinion, is like Phil Spencer's like first negative hit. 
you know, like uh, when he when he took over. Is it, is it his first? I mean, I, I think Phil's great. I think he practically walks on water, and I like what he's doing. However, Scalebound and um, Fable Fortunes are under his watch. Whether they started out not in his watch or not is irrelevant. They were canceled on his watch. Well, they were canceled. One or another. Well, so what? They were canceled. Games get canceled all the time. No, but you're saying this is the first thing for him because I don't agree with this as being a first bad thing for him. Oh, well, I, I mean, I think this is the first, ne- you know, the first negative thing because it's a game that's been talked about and then delayed, 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 and then they released, you know, a date and then it got delayed again. For scale bound and stuff like that, it was just like you know what they got. It got delayed and then just got it just got flat out canceled. Um, I, I I guess I okay. I see what you say. Here's my thing: is if it gets released, I think this would be the first negative thing because those other ones got canceled, so you can't really say it's negative because they they didn't come out, so you can't say anything about the game. They didn't come out. Um, but yeah, it's just this is one hit on him I think and it's you know unfortunate because he's done a lot of good things um mm-hmm. so the question was is like well what what do they have and I think I think we're going to talk about that later right are we going to talk about the things that are actually coming out this year now that crackdowns canceled because that was one of the big ones I don't, I, don't... I think the only thing they got left is Forza That's well you it. got Forza and Sea of Thieves well, Sea of Thieves is spring, right? Oh, I thought. Oh, yeah, that's right. It it got pushed. Wait, let me double check. I think I might have wrote that down. But I thought that, that was this year. Okay. Might've yeah, been. look look that up because you know it's like we got Forza, and then obviously in, in Gamescom, PUBG or P- Player Unknown Battlegrounds is a console exclusive um, to Xbox because Microsoft is publishing it. Um, so it's only coming to Xbox. It won't be coming to PlayStation as that we you know that we know of right now. Um, so there's those two games that are exclusive. Um, but yeah, the Sea of Thieves was the only one I thought, but if it's not exclusive, then I'm not sure. I thought it was this year. And and then, of course, that, Cuphead. What's that, Mark? It, it probably was. I probably got my date. Right. I even sent myself an email, and I can't find the time. Yeah, but the the game, the game, you know, Crackdown 3, it's just, it's unfortunate. I didn't really see that coming. I was taken by surprise. But then when I read it, I when I read it, I was just like, you, you, you've you got to be kidding me. It's like there there isn't anything you can do or the amount of people you can throw at it. Because basically, if they're saying, oh, they're going back because people didn't like the look of it. I, I didn't know cell shading was so hard. Um, the other games looked just fine. So... What was wrong with the look? I mean, that's the part I don't understand. But so, but yep, that was our first topic. So, but uh, Mark, you have a list of things here. So, you want to talk about the next one? Okay. So the first thing again, this is just a couple items that came out prior to Gamescom. So, DJ Colette Khalid um, is going to be on X. Lead on Xbox Live Sessions. Uh, this is a new interactive show that's going to be premiering August 25th on Mixer. Um, it's a live stream hosted on the Mixer Xbox channel, um, and it's going to celebrate pop the most. Ce- oh, I'm sorry. It will feature some of the world's most celebrated pop culture icons as they play highly anticipated new titles on Xbox One, beginning Friday, August 25th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. That would be nine. 9 Eastern Time. Um, DJ Khalid will join Xbox for its first ever Xbox Live session. Um, He's going to play Madden NFL 18 on Xbox One S, all while discussing his projects, answering fan questions, and giving away prizes throughout the live stream. Um, And popular radio personality and founder of Dash Radio, DJ Ski, will join him. So I just wanted to let you guys know this is coming. Um... They've got some A-list featured guests so each, during each live stream hosted on Mixer. Premier guests, including some of the most iconic athletes, actors, musical talent, and more are going to join Xbox to share stories and 
discuss their passions while they're being exciting new titles. There's going to be giveaways, uh, exclusive gameplay, and stuff like that. So that begins on Mix the Xbox channel on August 25th, 6 p.m. Pacific time. All right. All right. I'm not tired. I was reading that, and, and like, I know talented people, but I'm sorry, Mixer, you absolutely bomb and failed today. Like, drastically bomb and failed. So, yeah, until not- you get your infrastructure straightened out, like, don't do anything, in my opinion. Because you, know you got weird, slammed. Though? Well, it was weird because it was fine on E3. I didn't have this problem watching it through Mixer on E3. Yeah. So I was surprised. I was actually uh, with uh, Gibbs8777 from Horrible Gamers. Him and I were in a party together, both trying to stream it. And uh, mine ran fine from the very beginning, but I had no chat. But the video and audio were fine, but he he couldn't get it. It it took him several minutes to be able to get it, and then he was way behind, and um, and then near the end of the show, all of a sudden mine went out and then his was fine. And I was like, what the heck, you know, yeah. now that we're getting to where I want to be now, uh, what I really wanted to see, but yeah, they had a lot of issues today. Um, sure. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I watched it on I end up... the Xbox one X than there was for E3. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw the count was over 3 million. So there's 3 million people watching. Um, mm. No, there wasn't. There was only like 8,000 watching. The 3 million count was how many people have watched that channel. Oh, okay. I was missed. I, yeah. That was 3 million, over 3 million views, but there was only like 8,500 people watching. I was like, not a lot of people to have this many issues. So Yeah. I, I, I've, I'm actually starting to dig the, uh, the Twitch app, like the desktop app. It used to be the Curse Client. Um. I really like that because, you know, it's a client. It's not going through the browser. So, it, it, man, it just did such a great job. It was flawless. So, yeah, like, watch. If you guys don't know what that is, I think it's I think it's like app.twitch.tv or something like that. You guys can download it. And it's pretty cool because, you know, with Curse, you can set up a community and all that stuff, which we don't have one. Uh, I'm not interested in looking at that right now. <laughs> but um, the app is is pretty nice so but the other big things pre-order so mark yeah. i think you ordered all three of us one all right oh well, was i supposed to do that or you at least got two so, weren't, weren't, weren't you giving away one <laughs> the X, i'm gonna give yours away oh okay. the xbox one x pre-orders went live today um it was funny. It was like all the other retailers had them available, but I don't know if the Microsoft store ever did have them. I know Amazon did go live pretty much pretty shortly after they announced it. When they said they're available now, they weren't anywhere. And then it was, I don't know, five minutes later, they finally, the online stores finally started clicking up. Um, I did get my pre-order in uh, through Amazon. Um, I did post the link for it out in um, our, our Facebook group. But it sounds like um, someone I talked to later on in the day went to the link and it said, we'll notify you when they're available. So it looks like Amazon's already sold out of the initial. Um, they are, they're having a limited edition Project Scorpio version. Um, it'll have, it's going to have like some kind of graphics on the case to look like the original Xbox. You could see the X and you know, um, they've got in green Project Scorpio on the console and on the controller. Um, they said they even said today it was going to be a very limited run, so get them while you can because they will never be back. So uh, that's what they claim, and it does look like everybody's pretty much sold out. Uh, Gib eight seven 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 went to his GameStop, and they only got fourteen of them uh-huh. at his at his store. He did get one, so. Um, you didn't get it today. There's, yeah, you might have to wait for the, the non-Project Scorpio edition, but it's you're not really going to miss out on it. It's not going to, nah. you know, you still have hardware. It's no big deal. Um, but well, they did hey, go available. Hey, hey, Mark. So, I mean, we we both took part in the, you know, the day one console on the original Xbox. Right. Did that matter to you? Like, was it worth it? I mean, to get that little button I, on the controller. and No, no, I don't yeah. care about that. 
that. And I yeah. even got like a free achievement. I might yeah. care. No, it doesn't matter. Um, and my consoles are going to sit. I'm not going to see it. You know, the, the thing, it's just sitting in a entertainment center, if you will. So it's, it's not that big of a deal. It'd be nice. I mean, it's kind of nice to go, yeah, I have a day one Xbox One. But that's it. It's, I'm not missing out on anything. I don't. Right. It's not a big deal. So if you didn't get one, it's, it's no big deal. You'll, but uh, you can use the link we posted. And if you get that they're not available, you can click that thing. Um, they'll notify you when they're available. Funny thing is, I never got an email from Amazon today. <laughs> but I would imagine that's because they were sold out so fast. Um, and they probably knew it was going to happen. So they you know, don't want to send emails. And people get their emails later today or tomorrow and going, hey, this isn't available. Then they'd have people mad. Mm-hmm. But Because I was signed up for it. never got the email. But I was waiting because <laughs> right. I knew they were going to go quick. But... Uh, I saw so, I saw okay. where I saw where GameStop was like pre order now and get up to two hundred dollars on your Xbox One um that you would turn in later type of thing. So and I think I don't know what it was to uh, it said up to, so obviously the different levels get you different quality or quantities and stuff. I looked up my original Xbox One, not my Xbox One S on Amazon, and their trade-in was $149 for it. So, like, to me, that's well, you know, that's well worth it. Just hopefully when the, the consoles are out that they're still taking taking that. Um, because they were like, ah, you have to send your console in by August 29th to get the credit. I'm like, well, I'm not giving you my console now. The, the one I'm pre-ordering right. doesn't come out till later. So, right. But uh, we'll see. And again, it's a pre order. I got mine in. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get it. Right. You know, and that's just because you pre ordered, there's always, oh, we, we sold too many. We, we took too many pre orders. We don't have them, blah, blah, blah. You know, it, and that's from any retailer. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I feel good that since Amazon now has cut them off, that maybe they only took so many and for what they knew they were going to have. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Yep. But again, it, it, it's, you know, I tried, I got my pre-order in. Now I just got to hope that I actually get it. It's, and, uh, it's live in the Microsoft store right now. Okay. By the way. So you can get it there. Four ninety nine, free shipping. So can you do well, two years? Uh, same as cash. <laughs> Oh, you mean yeah. that lease program? Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. That's, that annoyed me. They were talking about all these really cool and neat, unique things they're going to do. And all they did was say, well, you're getting like a different looking case with this green Project Scorpio on the on the front of it and on the controller. That's it. I was like, no packing game. No, like, you're, you're going to, you know, even Ryan was saying, it would be nice to give you a free code for a um, like a custom controller or, you know, uh, you know, obviously avatar t-shirt. Game, nothing. You didn't get any um, of the, they didn't talk about any kind of the leasing op- options. I was like, that was kind of a letdown. They built that up. Like there's going to be something really cool about pre-orders and there wasn't. I don't think putting Project Scorpio on the front of it is a cool thing. Like, okay, but, it's there, but guess what? The box is going to run just as good if I had one that didn't have it. Well, it, it also has a uh, 4K Blu-ray player. But they're all going to have that. And it's got A, B, and X, Y buttons. (laughs) Shut up, Rob. Did did you know you can put batteries in the controller on on this one? Ooh. (laughs) How can I mute him? Actually, now that. (laughs) Yeah, we need to mute him. I mean, so the special things with it are are basically, it doesn't have like a textured. Yeah. Um. Thing with the Scorpio logo or not logo the the lettering on it and it comes with a stand. I think it has a stand, right? They all have, they all have a stand. Yes, that is. They so do know. The stand is unique to this Project Scorpio edition. So it's said. probably yeah, it's like a custom thing because normally the S doesn't have one. Yeah, it does. Correct. It's it separate. Does. You can buy it separate. Mine came with the, the S stand. Does not come with the stand. Mine came with a stand. Was it? 
I'm gonna go dig in my box and see if there's a stand. Well, I was gonna say mine. I threw, mine's, I threw my stand out. No, mine's there was stand. a stand for some of them. <laughs> oh, okay, because I got the. Uh, so I won my like Xbox a... One S, and I got one of the two terabyte ones, which is one of the ones yeah. that was the early release. So oh, the big, yeah, the bigger units had it. The the smaller ones didn't. No, that's because it was it's a twenty dollar option. For that piece they, of plastic, they, they, say that. they said that today that this Project Scorpio version, if you will, is the only one getting the stand. Mm. They said that on on at Gamescom today. So. But I, still, to me, I'm like, I don't even need the stand. I guess I don't even need it. Don't want it. Who cares? Yeah, well, my, mine's on. <laughs> mine's hooked up to my computer. Or, uh, I hook my console up to my computer, so it's behind my monitor. So I stand it up. You know, yeah. so you can see. You know, so it fits on my desk. Um, right. But of course, I could. I'm. I don't know. I, I don't know if the stands are different or whatnot. But I like having a stand. <laughs> so well, I didn't know that. Okay, my bad. Hawk said yes. The uh, the first year, or the two terabyte, came with it. So, all right. So, Rob, did you get yours? No. Okay, I did not get one yet either. I did have one in my in my cart because I refreshed the screen yeah. immediately when they said go, and it was available for me to put in there. So, but uh, yeah. So, so what was the deal like the the stuff at Amazon was like a one-time thing, or are they gonna have more? Or I don't know. I don't. Yeah, yeah. They said they're what in they very low qualities or quantity, so okay. not quality. They, they said once they're gone, they're gone. The, these initial Project Scorpio branded uh, consoles are very limited, and once they're gone, they're gone. So yeah. what will be replenished or what you'll get is just the one without that. You'll have, it'll be the black without the special design on the case. Yeah. And it won't Project Scorpio written on it in green. Yeah. But otherwise it's identical. I mean, yeah. so it's not really that big of a deal. Nope. But if you wanted a, an Xbox One X on day one, you had to get it like within the first hour or two, unless Microsoft is still taking, like Rob, you said the store has them now. Uh, maybe you can still get it through Microsoft. Yeah, you can. I, I just have sold out i mean i just wonder like the thing that gives me pause a little bit is if there's going to be some better deals later on and you're kind of hosed because i don't know how the microsoft store works do they charge you like immediately or when it ships and you know i know i know amazon's different right they only amazon, charge you when it ships amazon you know? charges when they ship it yeah so, i haven't paid a dime for mine which again um yet I, you know i've they got my credit card, <laughs> so you know. Yeah, I probably, you know, I probably should have, I probably should have just ordered one when I got there, just to have it because you can cancel it at any time up to November. Cancel at any time, right? Yeah, but that's all right. It's funny. I checked a couple of uh, shopping sites just to see what the chatter was on there. Oh, uh, it's so funny. See, these people are bagging it. That uh, you know, somebody posts that you know it's out, available for pre-order, and they're trashing it, saying it's not a good deal because it's. <laughs> For full price, people are so silly. They're they're just yeah. I saw yeah. something was, and I think in our group was, well, I'm I'm not gonna pay five hundred when I can get that out of a PS4 Pro. And I'm like, um, you can't, you can't get what the Xbox One X can do. I mean, Digital yeah. Foundry has proven that already to you guys. Yeah, but it's okay. It's 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 the anti Microsoft. You know, haters gotta hate the Sony fanboys. They're gonna they're they're gonna be in there trying to, you know, make everybody you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just like, hey, I I've got PS4 and I got 360 or I've got S's. I've got X's. I doesn't matter, man. Yeah, it, it's know? almost it's almost like Gamer. next year. It's almost like next year with you know, if Sony releases a console, say they announce a console and release one next year, it's almost like and it was like seven teraflops and it cost. Four ninety nine, but next year the Xbox, you know, the Xbox One X is is three ninety nine. It's like people saying like, oh, why would I do that when I can just when I can you know do everything that that can do for you know with the Xbox One X and be like, no, oh, oh, but no, it would be reversed. You know. next, year. next year it would be reversed. Why you know? Well, I can get seven teraflops, uh, you know, you know, and and it could be like 
it doesn't really make any difference. They're gonna, you know, if Sony released one that Microsoft, you know, to compete with this, where it does identical, then everybody be okay with it. It's just, it's just the stupid mentality of consumers out there. Yeah. Everybody thinks Sony can do no wrong, you know, but it doesn't matter. Who cares if people buy this? You know, that's because they have, they want to, and they're gonna have fun with it. You know, yeah. I wanted one. I, I pre-ordered one. You know, I'm not going to knock anyone for ordering a, you know, buying a PS5. You know, I'm sure Sony people will be really happy when that comes out. Yeah. And I'll be happy for them. I don't really care. <laughs> you know, yeah. for people to care or get so bent out of shape about it is just retarded. You know, let people buy what they want. I like that we have options. You know, I might dog on it or, uh, you know, but I can dog on Sony because I own a PlayStation 4 Pro. I bought one, <laughs> so you know I, I can dog on it if I right I, if I want. I think people that haven't paid for it have no right to dog on it. You know. Yeah. You know the one thing you were, were talking about, like news and stuff. Like I was trying to go out to IGN to find out. Like Shack News is another, you know, gaming news website, and they posted out there that PlayStation's Twitter was hacked and that the PSN data database might be possibly compromised again um and so you know you hear that and i hear that and hear something like that i'm like oh let me go out to ign and there's like nothing nothing on ign so either it's not true or they just refuse to post it well so, ign bought and paid for by sony these days and, and you at least would think like the rumor they would at least come out and deny it you know or something but it, there's just nothing out there and and they have the screenshots of all the tweets of after they after they compromised it so um well i can't trust this site because of the dumb ads that they put on it it just <laughs> said it's you know from playstation's twitter it says let's get playstation leaks trending and uh, you know hi it's our mind we are a security group if you work at PlayStation, then please contact us, you know, and that's coming from PlayStation's Twitter. And then it says PlayStation Network database is leaked. So I don't I don't know what to think or believe on that, but so I'm with IGN and there's just nothing there. But of course, I mean IGN's flooded with a bunch of Xbox news. So because of games <laughs> coming. Leave it that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh so well speaking of consoles moving forward i okay i really liked the minecraft limited edition xbox so i'm not a minecraft player but i think that was a really slick yeah slick console so i think it's probably one of the best ones they've done i like the red um i like the red gears of war xbox one s i think that looks yeah. sharp but or i think it's an s but this one was yeah. pretty cool looking i was and this this Minecraft one is also an S, so keep that in mind. Yeah, it is an S. It's not an X. So, but uh, if you guys didn't watch Gamescom, it, it basically you know, it's got a, a transparent back on it, which lights up. Um, but the other, you know, the main side, the top of what the Xbox would be, um, you know, has the brown and the green blocks and stuff, and and a controller looks like a. You know something from Minecraft, and they got a pig controller. So there, there was a couple things on there. But if you did see Gamescom, you should really at yeah, Redstone. Thank you, Huck. If you haven't seen it, go out and look at it because to me, I I saw that and I'm like, you know what? I might not be a Minecraft player, but that is probably one of the sweetest Xboxes I've seen. <laughs> so, but did you guys like it? I yeah, I'm not a Minecraft guy, but I'm like my kids would love that. The, yeah, the yeah. creature controller and the pig controller were both really neat the uh, yeah, console creeper, creeper. yeah it was a cool looking console i mean it was minecraft no doubt about it Did yeah you get a chance to cover yeah it's, um, on, it's on major yeah. nelson so. mm -hmm. but yeah if you don't have an s and you want to get an s it's it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty sharp it, so yeah, yeah and then it comes with a copy of the game yeah it's the one terabyte S version. You get the limited edition Creeper controller, Minecraft digital code, Minecraft Redstone pack, 
a bonus. Um, the vertical stand. Yeah, you get a stand. One <laughs> box game pass and 14 day of Xbox Live Gold trial. But it does. It's, it looks cool. If you haven't seen it, check it out on Major Nelson. They even got a video of it. Yeah, put a put a comment in the uh, put the link in the comments of Twitch. So, but uh, uh, the yeah. next thing I wanted to talk about real quick, or I don't even we don't have to discuss it. There's a couple items here, so I just wanted to let people know. Um, Jurassic World Evolution was announced, and this basically is going to allow you to build your own Jurassic Park. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, I, you know, it, I guess like a Sim City, but for you know, or uh, what was that? zoo tycoon i guess it's like a zoo tycoon only it's uh jurassic world so that's coming out as you're gonna build your own park and what? then they've also don't 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 you think so real quick about that i learned from the movies why would we build another jurassic park they always turn out bad <laughs> because everybody thinks they can always do it better <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. You can prove them wrong. See, I can do it better. Yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then there's the Record Definitive Edition. It's coming out August 29th. Um, no, I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, well, the definitive Record Definitive Edition comes out. Um, if you don't have it, you can get it. If you already bought Record, you get the Definitive Edition for free. So you'll automatically get that. Um, so it's just one of those things I think they're trying to, it's like, it, that's one of those games that got like mixed, you know, yeah. mixed reviews and it. stuff about it. It was okay, but it, I didn't, the map was terrible and I couldn't figure out, like I got to a point where it's like, I couldn't progress. It's like, oh, you need more of these things. And it's like, well, how do I get these certain prisms? And, um, but I guess this definitive edition is going to have like some, uh, New story add-on, plus it's going to be 4K, HDR. But I found it funny that it's coming out here uh, August 29th in the 4K. And Xbox X doesn't even come out till November. So <laughs> you can't take advantage of the 4K stuff until November anyway. So I just think they should have just, this game should have released with the Xbox One X. But it's kind of a, who cares anyway. And I have a feeling I stole that story from someone. Else. Sorry, <laughs> but those those that's what I had put in. I didn't do the rest. Oh, and I think I. I, I haven't. Me. I haven't put anything in. I mean, the only thing that I was going to say is that, you know, there's supposedly over a hundred games that are getting the, you know, high resolution HD update, uh, treatment, and uh, that. That list has been officially released out there somewhere. There's, it's some, I don't know where it is, but they talked about it at Gamescom like three, three or four times. And then there was like five tweets. Like it's some, you know, big, it's like a big thing. So if you're curious on what the games are, just go out there and, and find that list. So we don't need to read 100 games though. <laughs> so, but go ahead, Rob. Yeah, so one thing that was announced was that ReCore is going to be getting a definitive edition on August 29th. And I think we talked about this. It was kind of like a rumor a couple weeks ago. But uh, so it's coming out on August 29th. Hold Wait on. A minute. Hold on, Rob. Did you Rob. zone Did you zone out for five minutes? <laughs> what do you mean? Mark I just, Mark just talked story. about it. <laughs> I even said I think I stole Rob's story. <laughs> oh, where were you? <laughs> no, I was I was actually reading work emails. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I heard I remember I heard you. I think I stole that. You can move to the net move to item number no. seven. I no, well, so so Sorry. I didn't I didn't get to respond on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was kind of wondering like what you what was he talking about? We're all like, <laughs> so, I see Mark's yeah. face get Mark's face. <laughs> Mark's face is like, <laughs> what? And I'm going, huh? <laughs> well, well. A couple weeks ago. How about it's 45 tripping. seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, you're tripping, man. No, <laughs> okay, so, okay. I, okay, I don't know what you even <laughs> said then. But it's like, does anybody care? It's just, I, this is the game that went from like $39 to $20 like instantly. Normally you have a definitive edition from an Xbox 360 title that gets the whole treatment, the next gen treatment or the current gen treatment and made better. Here's the game that came out, what, a year ago? maybe a little bit longer and it's already getting a definitive edition 
that's that's to me that shows like we really didn't do this game right or you know we needed to you know spend another year working on it but we're gonna put it out now and instead of delaying it like crackdown for year after year and then we'll just release a definitive edition like how we really wanted to release it but i guess the only good thing is if you have this game the definitive edition supposedly going to be free so you can either get the definitive edition at 20 bucks or uh, it's going to be free to previous purchasers so interesting i just wonder if other companies are going to do this i hope not did yeah, that the, stuff? the one the one thing I did say when you were reading your work email was, yeah. <laughs> was that this game had is one that is one game that had mixed reviews. Like you hear people all yeah. the time that said they loved it or they hated it. So the people that loved it and that have it are getting, you know, like you said, are getting it for free. Mm-hmm. So and I remember not playing Dishonored um, when it first came out and I got the yeah. definitive edition when it was 20 bucks and Dishonored's definitive edition was out within a year. And mm-hmm. I loved it. So yeah, it was a it was year good. or two, I would say. So yeah, but uh, yeah. All okay. Right. Go ahead. So speaking of delays, uh, there's another thing that's going to be delayed: the Xbox or this new, smaller, new and improved Xbox wireless controller, where you can use your uh, Xbox controller as your PC. That's being delayed ah, until until 2018. And it oh, was, canceled. it's canceled. <laughs> just it's like canceled. Crackdown. Yep. Like Crackdown. Yep. Yeah, That's so just for, this, PC, for PC use, right? Right, right. Yeah, so you can use your controller on there. And this is not for purposes like, um, you know, where you stream your Xbox. This is where you're actually using it for Windows 10 mm-hmm. to play games. But... You know, this thing was supposed to be out any, any day now, from what I recall, and uh, it's getting bumped. There are going to be some regions that are going to get it earlier, but for some reason it uh, is being pushed back until January or maybe later, 2018. Maybe this is FCC-related, but I wouldn't think so because there's already one out. But, um, yeah, you got to wait. So... Hold uh, your $25 that you were going to plop down for this thing. Save it until after the holidays if you can. Or send it to us on Patreon. I don't know. <laughs> Is that okay to say? But anyway, uh, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, you'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. And then more controller news. This was kind of interesting. There's actually a Kickstarter out there that will allow you to use your Xbox One controller on a PlayStation 4 or a Nintendo Switch. This kind of uh, shows like the power of what Microsoft puts out there where you can actually make third-party devices and, you know, hook it into other devices. And it also shows that people would want... I mean, you don't see, as far as I know, uh, anything like, hey, use your PlayStation controller for... um, for a switch or something like that. Cause as far as most people are concerned, the Xbox one controller is superior, right? People like the feel of it better, right? Yes. Yeah. I no. mean, I, yeah. I can play the PlayStation with a PlayStation controller. I mean, it's yeah. not like it's, it's like a massive drastic, you know, change for me, but I can say that I do, you know, I prefer the Xbox controller or the PlayStation mm-hmm. controller. Because of the feel and the and the weight and stuff like that, like the PlayStation controller feels very it's very light. I mean, but it's also very small and just mm-hmm. you know. But some people will say the other way. But you know, the big thing is the offset thumbs. I mean, I I do yeah. play better that way. So, but yeah, the uh, so the Kickstarter, which is let's see how much longer this is running. So as of What's today? The 20, 20th? Yep. It's August 20th. Uh, it's got 54 days to go, so it's still about two months. It's on Kickstarter by a company called Brook Design LLC. Hmm. And uh, they've already succeeded. They've already passed their funding goal of $5,000. they got about 7000 pledged right now. 
So you can, for $49 or more, get one Xbox One adapter. Or for 80 bucks or more, you can get one Xbox One adapter and one PS3, PS4 to switch super converter. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I don't know. But... Yeah, but uh, it's out there. It looks like it just plugs into the bottom of the controller into the USB hmm. looking uh, plug. And um, yeah, kind of neat. Cool. Then um, a couple of quick things I just wanted to cover from the last uh, week or so is there's a new mode on, uh, on the Xbox or it's coming pretty soon here. Uh, they showed it off called light mode. Did you guys see this? Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with this. I saw it and I actually kind of liked it. So yeah, you know, I was, I was kind of surprised as well. Cause uh, I don't know. We're, we're looking at the whole thing, you know, for years now, everything's so dark and it's, it's a little nice change to have the light. Cause I noticed with a lot of mobile apps for the phones, you either have light and dark and, I tend to like switch back and forth. I run one for a couple of weeks and get tired, move to the dark one, then run, go back and forth. So um, it might be a little bit better with some of the games. Right. And it uh, looks like this was something that they had on uh, back on the 360. So it'll be a welcomed uh, addition. Yeah. And then uh, what was it? I also thought I saw something about there's a company that is going to make a original Xbox shaped controller. Did you guys hear about that? Why in yeah, the world think... would you want one of those? <laughs> no, we talked about that a few weeks ago. Yeah. About the controller? Yeah, about the Duke coming back. Yeah, I, you know, I remember that. I think we talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a company that actually got uh, called out that they were coming out with it. Why would you want that? <laughs> the controller, hey, you the that controller feel. you have, the controller you have now, like this controller right here, is well is I'll, meant I can answer that. of of years and years of trial and error and design and modification, and that's why you got what you got. Mm -hmm. You know what? So. You know where it's gonna come come. Hey, thanks, Chris. Yes, Chris. Thank you for the twenty five dollars. He just wanted that top spot. Nice. So now, if anybody doesn't like Chris to have that top spot, you just have to tip more than twenty five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm doing there? Or maybe. <laughs> maybe Chris decided not to hold it for the controller adapter. Yeah, there you go. Until January. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's gonna be canceled anyways. But no, the the Duke controller. So, um, yeah. you we may have a need for it. Not not necessarily it to be that big. You know, I think I it would be nicer to make the smaller one, but with with original Xbox games coming backwards compatible, the white and black button are missing on the 360 and the Xbox One controllers that existed on the Duke mm -hmm. or on the original Xbox. So you remember it had the A B X Y buttons, but it also yeah. had the black and white button. Right. Those were used in games. So I don't know how they're gonna get around that on games that use the black and white buttons on a controller that doesn't have those buttons. I got four paddles. Oh, yeah. Those are the little guys above the... Yeah, uh, they were like a, above yeah. and to the left of the... That's right. Because those are the ones that they basically moved into the middle on the Xbox One S, sort of, right? No, no, because they had those below. They got rid yeah. of them. Yeah, because I was thinking about like... Um, the two buttons now on the Xbox One S or the Xbox One period to the left and the right of the Xbox button. Right. I forget what they're called. One's like what? The two squares and then like the back. hamburger. Yeah. One yeah. was start back and then they yeah. changed it. Now it's, I don't even know what they call them anymore, but they're not that. Yeah. And they should have that big gaudy Xbox One button emblem. or whatever emblem in the middle <laughs> i got a the... duke somewhere i can grab it if... oh yeah i i got one in the garage 
it's sitting in my drawer over here. I can grab it. I still have my original oh. Xbox hooked up. So, uh, but anything else, Rob? Um, no, no, that's it. Okay, so I want to real quick run down a few items that did that I did take notes of at Gamescom. Um, I'm going to say this too. I was disappointed. I thought they were doing a press conference. All this was was the European team sitting on a couch talking with people. Um, it really was not what I thought it was going to be, but. Anyways, uh, Halo Wars 2 is getting an expansion. Um, I thought they said on PC only. So I, I, I could have swore he said on PC. But uh, the multiplayer is getting new leaders and new maps are coming to the multiplayer. Um, we did talk about ReCore Definitive Edition. It is coming to the Xbox Game Pass as well. Um, and they're also going to be releasing like seven new titles to Game Pass here soon they didn't say what they were or what or when but they said they got like seven more coming this month so there's going to be more we won't have to wait till the first and next month um xbox game pass is coming to eight new markets uh, world of tanks is getting a 4k hdr update on and this is again here's it's it's this is like next week on 8 22 in two days so on tuesday um but you can't I, it still seems weird that they're, you know, still can't make use of it till November. But well, the also, HDR you can. Yeah, the HDR you can. The, uh, but they're also going to make use of Xbox Live Arena tournaments. So you can um, set up your tournaments uh, through Xbox Live Arenas starting on 27th. Uh, Design Labs is now going to be in 20 more countries. So if you wanted to get a custom controller before and you couldn't, uh, check out now. Uh, they got, they've added 20 new countries that are able to get those custom controllers. Um, there is a Shadow of War Xbox S bundle also coming, which you can pre-order now. Um, Cuphead, I don't know if it had been announced before, but they do have... So the game uh, was originally intended to be pretty hard, uh, pretty tough platformer, but they've did put, they put, they've got like an easier, uh, easy and a hard mode. And then if you beat that, then they have a new game plus mode, which I guess is its true super hard version of how it was intended to be. That's probably smart um, of them to do. Yeah, yeah. They, they have to. Um, one thing I did like about it, they did say that there's infinite lives. So you don't, you, you doesn't matter how many times you die, you're going to just keep respawning. Um, and you have continuous saves. Like it continuously will save throughout so you don't have to restart the game from the beginning of the level. Right. Every, so um, th those should make it a little bit easier for people to get into. But um, that's coming September 29th. And then they did show off a game called Surviving Mars. Not really exactly sure what it is. Kind of looks like um, City Skylines on Mars. Like you're building a colony on Mars. And yeah, I'll, I'll be anxious to play that one a little bit. Because I, like I, mean, I like City Skylines, so... And I don't know if that's the right term to use. Um, it's just like a look like it looked like a city builder type of thing that you're going to build mm -hmm. houses on Mars. Yeah. Um, I, I but I don't. You know, there really wasn't when I was when it was done. I was like, uh, what's this? And Ryan was like, uh, is this like city skylines? I'm like, it's a colony builder so. basically. Yeah. So, but uh, the show, if you missed it, you didn't really miss anything. So. There really wasn't a whole lot. It was really kind of boring. Yeah. That's it. All right. Well, with that, let's hit the community. So you can go to this xboxlife.com, and on the right-hand side, you can click send voicemail to send us a voicemail that we'll play in the show. You can also click uh, contact up in the top right-hand corner. Um, I think that's where it is, right? Contact? Um. And that will bring up a form where you can fill it out, and that will email us, which will read your email on the show. But one other thing that you can do, instead of doing that, you can record your voice and email us, or just plain email us, at contact at thisxboxlife.com. And we will read them off and answer your questions on the show. Um, we do not have any emails or voicemails for this week, but, you know, challenge for everybody next week. Let us know what you think about the new look, I guess. So Mark and Rob and I spent time working on this, and it was fun. <laughs> so, um, 
thisxboxlife.com slash Twitter or twitter.com slash thisxboxlife is our Twitter account. I tried to utilize it a little bit more. I've been retweeting more things and stuff like that. Um, the big place that we go is facebook.com. Um, actually, thisxboxlife.com slash Facebook will take you to our Facebook group. Uh, that's where we spend a majority of our time. And I think that's it for all of those. So it's up to you, Rob. You're up. You want me to talk about Recore again? No. No? Okay. <laughs> so the game's coming up for this week, uh, August 21st through August 27th. Uh, first off, on uh, August 22nd, we have Madden NFL 18. Uh, the Escapists 2. So this is a sequel to The Escapists. Looks like more of the same. Uh, Rivals of Aether 1.0. Swap Quest. Duck Game. Where did they come up with this stuff? Uh, <laughs> Super Combo Man. Uh, then on the 23rd, we have Spartan. Masquerade, Songs and Shadows, Chroma Gun, again on the 23rd, Knock Knock on the 23rd, Black Sea Odyssey on the 23rd, oh man, Eterno Blade, I think yeah. is how you spell it, that's or how, how you say I, that's it. That's how I would say. Eight, eight so it's A-E-T, so it's Eterno Blade. Bleed on the 24th, Path of Exile on the 25th, Mages of Mistralia on the 25th, Naruto Shippuden, uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm Legacy on the 25th, and, oh, here's more on the 25th, I thought this was a different day, <laughs> yeah. uh, Absolute Drift Zen Edition, F1 2017, Battle of the Bulge, Eventide, to the Sorcerer's Mirror. Actually, I think this is the longest list we've ever had. Yeah, it was pretty long. So it's, a, it's a fair <laughs> amount of stuff. Yep. And unfortunately, nothing really all too exciting. Although I guess uh, you know, people that like uh, the Madden games might be excited. Yeah. If they want to part with uh, some money. I, I did want to mention, though, that uh, Battle of the Bulge. Now, that's a Slytherine game and uh they make some really awesome um like uh war simulations almost like board game like and right. they were really popular with folks on the pc and i think this is their first thing that they've done in the consoles uh shield thanks for the follow by the way all right games with gold games with gold so, well, we just had the Switch, what, last week, I think, right? Yeah. Like early in the week, or yeah. no, Wednesday, once it was the 16th. So we recently had the Switch for Xbox One. We have Slime Rancher for August and then Trials Fusion. Uh, that started up on the 16th on Wednesday. So I think I mentioned this before. If you want to be frustrated beyond belief and twist your controller in half, then play Trials. Or if you're like me, play it for about three minutes and then move on to something else. Because you don't want to break your controller. Xbox 360 has Red Faction Armageddon. That's a new title on there. And make sure to get that one because it is backwards compatible. Also for, on Xbox One. And if you uh, make any purchases on Amazon, like a shiny new Scorpio, make sure to use our Amazon affiliate link. You can find that at this Xbox Life forward slash Amazon, or you can go to our website and click on the link in there. Look at the, for the big Amazon logo on the right hand side. It uh, does not cost you anything extra, but it sure helps to show out. We get a teeny tiny itty bitty teensy weensy little finder's fee for sending you their way. And uh, <laughs> what? Sorry. No. Keep no. going. Keep All going. Right. <laughs> okay. And if you're on iTunes, uh, and using your iDevices and whatnot, find our podcast within the iTunes store. Actually, is that a store? Yeah, I guess it is, Yeah, because you buy stuff on there. But the podcasting section in there. 
find us in there give us a five star review the more reviews that, that we get that helps out boosts us in the rankings over there so more people find out about the show thanks and, Drino, uh, for the uh thanks Drino, for the ten dollars who then <laughs> took took back over his uh top tipping spot he he wants that spot so <laughs> nice. so and uh thank ken i'm gonna say kenzie walters 95 for the follow but uh, cool. I think that's it for everything for this week. You guys have anything else? I do not. All right. I'm going to try to get this transition down and all this stuff for this one. <laughs> so, but uh, all right, everybody, thank you for coming out this week. We will be back next week for another show. And uh, everybody, everybody enjoy. So, I'm Brun BJ Swick 33. I'm Rob, also known as producer. Thanks for listening, everybody. Mark, aka Wingman709, taking off.